I would, uh, at the very outset, like to thank Kong Kamperin for having invited us, in fact, the entire family. Uh, this was a very, very personal and a very close uh, family affair. And uh, the fact that you've invited us here to be with you means a lot to us. So we are very thankful uh, that you invited us to be part of this really a memorable occasion. And uh, it's been 25 years. That's a long time. As uh, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister was mentioning, that he was very, very young at that time when late Peter Marbanyang had first become an MLA. In fact, uh, I wasn't even born at that time when he first became an, MLA, became an MLA. And I just remember the memories of late Peter Marbanyang and my father, late P. S. Samla. I just can remember small glimpses, short, you know, moments, uh, not very clear, but I do remember certain moments when the two of them were together. And just this morning, I was also seeing some pictures of both of them sitting together and chatting. Uh, so it's been a very, very long journey for our families together, in fact. So late Peter Marbanyang and late P.A. Sangma were very close colleagues, friends, worked together. And uh, it's uh, really, I should say, a, a very happy moment for me. And a period, a very important period with his family, uh, Kong Amparin and Viola, continuing that legacy of uh, working together and serving the people of the state, what our late fathers had started, I guess. We are doing our best to continue it. And today with uh, the unveiling of the bust, uh, it's, a, it's not just about the bust. We have to remember that uh, great people, they may leave us and go away. But uh, their ideas, their vision, their legacy will always remain. And even after 50 year, uh, 25 years, of late Peter Mapanev passing away. To some of you, it must be feeling like just yesterday that he was still here. And uh, that is a power of the personality of an individual to be able to influence generations to come. And today, this unveiling of this bust is nothing but not just a, a bust, but it is a, a powerful message to the future generation, reminding us about the contributions that were made by late Peter Marpane, reminding us about the values that he stood for, reminding us about how he dedicated his life, not just to the people of the constituency, but as was mentioned by our late, I mean, our uh, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, how late Peter Marpane had contributed to the entire nation. And therefore, uh, we must always remember and uh, keep those values and strive to follow in those footsteps in the days to come. So once again, it's really nice to see so many of the family members out here. And uh, I was just uh, listening to Bafenton struggling to remember <laughs> the names and, uh, and struggling to make sure that he took everybody's name. And yet he could not, uh, you know, uh, get everybody on board but uh, but really to, it's it's i think it's a great moment for the family and um, great moment for friends who have been close to the family and especially to late peter martanya and it's an honor for all of us who are on stage actually all of you should have been on stage you know it's very odd that we are on stage but it's an honor that you have given us to be here and uh, to be part of this really memorable occasion i'm sure that all the granddaughters and grandchildren who sang the song today. I'm sure that when the 50 years anniversary comes, then you'll be looking back at this video of you singing this song 25 years back. So keep that, keep that song nicely. It will be a great memory to remember and to keep, and you will, I'm sure, enjoy it and cherish it. So with these few words, once again, thank you so much for inviting us, and may God bless each and every one of you who's out here and uh, may the soul 
of date Peter Mabanyang, Best in Eternal Peace. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir.